Howdy everyone, my name is Keeper and welcome to this. Now today's been a really good day so far. I've been, I, I have tea here, I, I got, but I've been talking with friends, I caught up on work, I was just playing some games before recording for the day, and I get an alert on Twitter that says, hey, there's a new Scott Cawthon game out. So welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, which I think is a pizza tycoon game. I don't know anything about this, but we're gonna play it. And I don't know if it's a bug with maybe my audio or the game audio, but I don't hear anything on the screen. So I guess we'll figure that out as we go. But the other thing is, this is not the first kind of off game Scott Cawthon has done. He's got, he's, he's got his main series, obviously, but he's got all these side games that all of them hold secrets to either the main games, upcoming games, past games, the lore, stories we didn't know. And they, and they range from all these crazy things, right? FNAF World is the big one, obviously, but he's had other troll games, like the uh, Sister Location First Night thing that came out. It was actually a camping thing, but it helps. Anyway, <laughs> my point is, you know there's gonna be secrets to this. You know people are gonna uncover it. And you know that I probably won't. But that's beside the point. We're going to press, oh, okay, so there is sound, good. I wish I started from this screen then so we weren't in complete silence the whole time. All right, um, I guess we design pizza. Click toppings to add them to your pizza. Okay, um, I, I gotta make sure, hold on, I'm in position. Okay, okay. Uh, I like mushrooms. I actually don't like meat on my pizza. To me, it's just weird. I don't know. I've always been like a, a white sauce kind of pizza guy. I like the the lighter pizzas. If you can have a healthy, that's not a thing. Okay, olives, onion, no, not onions. Nah, all right, we'll just do the onion, mushrooms and olives. Okay, cool. It's all my options. Oh, okay, go to pizzeria. Oh, okay, round one. I get the pizza. Oh, I have two pizzas. Oh, I have to throw, okay. Wait, how many do I need? Habu. Oh, I can have, oh, I can have all the things. Wait, oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I have to eliminate them. Oh, okay, well, give me, give me more of these. Am I gonna have a time limit eventually, or what's the, what's the deal here? How many pizzas can I hold? A lot of pizzas, I can hold a lot of pizzas. Nice, takes three to get rid of a kid, noted. And this is how many, okay, I'm, I'm, lear I'm learning, I don't know why I'm learning. <laughs> oh dear, are all the kids gonna die when I get to the end of this? That's all I can think of. I'm sorry that's the first thing that comes to mind is child murder. He's gonna block, oh it's, Sh oh, it's Shadow Freddy? Let's see, oh he's gonna try to, eh. Ah, ha, ha, I'm smart, oh no, I thought I was smarter than you. I am not, I am not. Eh, eh, yeah, all right. Come on, come on, eh, eh, eh. I got this, nobody panic, nobody worry. Okay, can you go up here, ready? Set, as soon as he hits the top, go. Oh, sticky keys. I don't want to turn on sticky keys. No, go back. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I wanna get to the bottom of this game. I know it has secrets. I know it has secrets. Scott Cawthon is not the kind of developer to just be like, oh, here's a fun little thing. Uh-uh, uh-uh, if you know these games at all, you know that's not gonna, that's never gonna, that's not gonna fly. I don't want sticky keys off. Oh my God. Yeah, all right. All right. Oh, their heads get big. Oh, their heads get so, wait, wait, wait. Wrap. Wait, what? Uh oh, uh oh, the audio is cutting out. I think my head. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this because I took too long? I think it's because I took too long. I was trying to fix the key. I'm sorry. Hi. Oh, there's a. How you doing, baby? Yeah, I loved your last game. Oh wait, I have to, oh, sorry. Wait, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, results. No, oh, no, yes, unsure, oh wait. Begin tape. Leaving dead space, three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, 
but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Damn it, I messed up. The room, you are not to return. Okay. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. I don't like this. Document results. No. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. One. We're going to listen through this, and then I'm going to come back Document and redo results. this right. I'm going to do no again. Begin audio prompt. Unless the results don't three, matter, because it's going to be no for everything, one. and then I get jump scared. Which is what I'm assuming is going to happen. But I'm going to come back anyway, because I hate myself. This is really creepy. Like these sounds and just having to stare at that. If I wasn't talking, you guys would know exactly what I'm doing, but I, I'm talking anyway. All right, how about no? Don't jump sorry. Two, one. No, thank you. No. Hi, how you doing? It's I didn't a get new jump day. Scared. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take I a don't, huge gamble on your future. I don't believe. A gamble that I don't, comes with a 100% chance of success. I don't in like some that purple cases. suit. What are we I talking know it. about? Well, We're that's talking scary. about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. Okay. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. I don't. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Oh. Entertainment. Can Having I get a, a word lot in? Of entertainment value in your no, restaurant okay. will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to out? ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale you might comes die. with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, oh. that would only be a serious danger you if there were something outside anything. that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. Wait, this what? This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that Thank smile you. with pride, and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you wait a sec. You wait. You wait. You wait. And you wait. And I'll wait. Or else it's gonna take. I'm out of tea again. My point is. That was the establishment from FNAF 4. I'm gonna throw that out. I think that's what that was. I think that's what that was. Because. Specifically, the stage part and what it said and what it was specifically mentioning about picking up old things that may not work. I think, and it's something that might be inside, the, the spring trap suits are all I can think of. In FNAF 4, there was, and these are things that were specifically mentioned. These are not things that Scott Coffin does. He chooses what goes in the games, right? He is, he is very deliberate. 
they specifically mentioned a stage and the arcade machines. And those are things that are present in every FNAF game. But in FNAF 4 specifically, and this is why I bring it up, in FNAF 4 specifically, um, because of the imagery of the kids and the balloons and like the 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 whole atmosphere of like, I don't know, retro 80s style almost, that's what it has to be, right? Because FNAF 4 took place in 1983. So rebuying or cutting corners to buy the uh, uh, Springlock suits, which were on the stage that I'm specifically mentioning. Okay, we're going into theorized territory here. <laughs> I, I got this. That had to be it. What does that mean, though? Does that mean the next game takes place before FNAF 4? Didn't Sister Location come before FNAF 4? I don't know. <laughs> okay, sorry. Tangent over. We're going to move on because I'm sure everything I said is wrong will be proven wrong. So I guess this is a game, but then the game doesn't matter when it breaks and goes crazy. Okay, how to a two-step guide to restaurant management. I thought that would be it. I thought that would be it because this was a free game on Steam. There's a link down below, by the way, if you want to mash buttons for yourself and find out the secrets I'm going to miss. But we're just going to play through the game best I can. Catalog mode, purchase items, animatronics, other supplies. Blueprint mode, place items, upgrade items, upgrade floor plan. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to tr try. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm willing to bet it's all going to go down. Hi, sister Let's location. See how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package? Why is that so loud? Great. That should be more than enough. I, I want to just. I want a refund. I want a refund. On your left are your product catalogs. Uh -huh. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your. Hold on. Oh, wait. Use shoot. the arrows in the sorry. bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to uh -huh. place your items. Okay. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. Oh, okay. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a click, try click, click, and click. do some shopping. Click, click. Okay, I'm sorry if the audio cut out for you guys. I actually don't know how specifically I went. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, Blueprint Mode. And then, catalog. so I have to buy and then place. Oh, I can upgrade this. I only have a hundred dollars. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Got it. Um, <clears throat> take one. Thirty dollars? Eh. Oh, I need. I definitely need those. Okay. Definitely need. Okay. Single stage. Double stage. I don't have any tables. The fan. I don't have any tables. Tables? Tables? Okay, we're gonna buy a single stage for now, and we're gonna buy the ball pit, because I love ball pits. And then we can also buy the nothing else? Nope, okay, oh wait, oh, there's other stuff. I thought I didn't, wait, wait, what are these? Mr. Hugs, Mr. Can Do, light animatronics. Oh, these are animatronics. <laughs> Oh man, the paper pals! Hey, I know them. They're a little bit different here, but whatever. Pants stands my favorite. I move on to blueprint mode and place this stuff down because I am a professional Fazbear uh, entertainment owner. Clicky. Click, clicky, clicky boy. Sponsorship offer. Fizz time Silva. Have a popping good time with Fizz time pop. Except, I got money. Hell yeah, we're gonna buy ourselves an animatronic. Actually, I really need, I really need tables. I really, really need tables. Don't have tables. Oh wait, oh, they have things here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Liability risk. Okay. Got it, I'm understanding, I'm gonna buy this. Woo, Stan's budget tech, look at this, guys. We can get budget tech now. Buy the, 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 the lights. And then the pinball machine, or not the pin, sorry, gumball machine. I gotta start placing this stuff down, man. Okay, well the lights are already there. Uh, uh, how do I move? How do I move things? Oh, W. It says right there. I'm an idiot. Okay, so oh, I have tables already. Oh, good. Oh, I get to place. Oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, I'm understanding things. Wow, that's sad. That that's a that that is the ball pit. Okay, I thought I was just buying the. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for finished. 
I didn't buy an animatronic. Your today. restaurant is now officially open. Woo! Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. Uh -oh. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. Uh -oh. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers uh -oh. to print, and repairs to make. Motion. Once you've taken care of Audio. all the items on your to-do hey. list, you can log off for the day and Wait. get out of there. Wait, what? Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. Wait. We've got you covered. What are these? The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto I'd other I'd very much matters. like to do that. Oh. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. I want to press those buttons in the bottom left. problem if there is nothing in the vents. Same. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. Why would anything jump you out? You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, ah! that you can only have one of these active at any given time. That's now get to is. it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Oh, temperature rising because I turned the fan off. Oh my god! If I had known this was a horror game, it would have been scary lighting. I didn't think- I just thought this was gonna be like, dropping hints. I didn't know this was actually a, a thing. Okay. 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 Alright. Don't panic. I won't panic. You don't panic. Promise? Promise. Good. Got it. Good. Ew, we're gonna die. Okay. We don't have any animatronics here, though. So why do we have all these? Order supplies. Order pizza kits. Sure. Motion detector. Activate motion scanning. Sure. Can you tell me if there's anything here? I didn't buy any animatronics. Play, play that way. I bought nothing. I didn't. Silent ventilation and secondary ventilation system runs the background creating minimal noise. Yes. Okay. Oh, so I can turn this off and then that will run? Yes, question mark? I don't know. Apparent, apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, oh. Is this a progress bar? Is it? Is that? No, is that just a light? Am I going crazy? I'm going crazy. That's just a light. Hello? Anybody there? Okay. Help. I, I, I have a mood, okay? I have a mood I have to get in when I play a horror game. I have a ritual, I do a thing, I make sure I'm ready, I'm prepared, I psych myself up, and then I get in there and do it. I didn't do that for that. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna die. Alrighty. That's when I scream. Actually, I scream anyway. It's part of the charm. Alright, maintenance. Clean ovens. Sure. Replace bulbs. Unclog the toilets, if you don't mind. Vent. Silent ventilation active. But what's it do? Is anything gonna happen? I'm gonna press Z. I turned everything off. Oh, now we're dead. Can I turn it back on? Thank you. Should I turn the fan back on? Sure. What we gotta lose? Our life? Haha! <laughs> oh dear. Anything else do anything in this office? Am I supposed to be... Like finding secrets here, I can't tell. I'm, 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 I'm doing the, what? Are, what are, what are you even? Everything else in this office is FNAF related. You are just a clown, and quite frankly, sir, you can buzz right off. Sure. Activate that. Activate that. Yes, please, please. And any something, any anything. Equipment, I have no money. I had no money. If I knew there would be this part, I wouldn't have spent so much decorating the, the, the stupid thing. How was I supposed to know? I should have read the description. This is this is exactly why you should always read the job description. I didn't read the game description, and now I'm here. So if you don't read the job description, and you don't know you're gonna die to kill animatronics, that's how you end up here too. Hello? Oh wait, do I? Oh, I have to do all the things, don't I? Before the next day. Uh, 
because all these have alerts. So I'm willing to bet I have to do the things, right? Okay, and then turn this on. Okay. I have to stay, do I have to stay like looking at? Oh my God, all right, order cups. What's that? No thanks. Oh, it's still ordering. Okay, I just can't leave this. Okay. Okay. God damn it, if this kills me. Why does it make such an unsettling sound? Ah, all right, order napkins. Turn the fans back on. Again, I bought no animatronics. In theory, in theory, I won't die. Will I actually die? Probably, and let me tell you why. This is a FNAF game. <laughs> And if that's not enough proof for you, I don't know what to tell you, man. All right, boop the schnoot. Oh, I, okay, check these since I messed up anyway, and then finish ordering supplies. We're gonna keep ordering supplies, and we're gonna move on down the list. We got this, figuring it out. I didn't pay attention to anything the guy said, other than turn the vents off, which I'll do now. So 60 is the lowest you can go, and then it very quickly climbs. Oh, 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 oh. This makes it climb slower. So if I turn it off while that is on, it climbs slowly, which means I have a bit of extra time. Not a lot though, to not be cooked alive. Not that I can see why I would immediately die when it's 90 degrees. Usually it just makes me a bit uncomfortable, but it's fine. It's whatever. You know what? I grew up in Arizona. Actually, I live in Arizona right now where it is always 90 degrees, and we always complain about it. <laughs> so you know what? I am used to complaining and or being stuck in 90 degree weather. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Oh man, 80, how dare it. I think it was 82 in my room just a little bit ago before I had turned it down. Okay, I'm gonna turn the fans back on, I'm gonna check down the vents, make sure nothing's gonna kill my face. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is the pinnacle of uh, gaming entertainment, by the way. You having fun? I'm having fun. I actually am. I am really, I, I had no idea what to expect from this. So now that I can like, not have a clue what's going on, so I don't, not that I ever do, but you know. Turn this on. Okay, activate motion scanning, please. And actually scan, because Maybe I keep leaving too late? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I gotta keep, I gotta keep, I gotta keep doing things. Maintenance, almost done. Unclog toilets, please. Who is this? Who is this? Is this supposed to be the Shadow Freddy from the last game? Maybe, I mean the last mini game. Maybe? Clean ovens. I don't ex actually expect anything to happen this night. So I've probably been rambling for way too long, pressing way too many buttons that I didn't need to do. Wasted everyone's time. And we're just gonna replace the bulbs and we're gonna move on with our lives or get jump scared. Yeah, one of the two, one of the two. Here we go. It's, it's, it's coming. Ain't anything? This is scanning still. Tasks, log off. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. I'd like There's to go home. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make I'd... it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Is this a full game? Wait, wait. Congratulations on completing your first Wait. day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, 
Those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. Why is this but different? then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not like be as FNAF docile too. as it first appeared. Oh. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. A taser? You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. Where's my taser? We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Oh, okay. Please make your choice now. Throw it back, throw it back in the alley. All right, proceed to salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Oh, I found my taser. Remember, <laughs> use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you got feel it. that it's becoming unstable you or aggressive. It. Oh, yeah. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic. Yes, yes, yes. increase its value. Okay. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Did I mention I have automatonophobia? Where things like this freak Document me result. the hell out. Nope. Begin it did audio nothing. prompt in three, two. If it does nothing, I'm putting no. If it does something, I'm putting yes. Document results. Nah. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Shifted. I know he did. I I got my finger on control, man. I am results. ready to punch. Begin. On Buzz the hell off. That's what I done done thought. All right. Freaking no. You gain a no on everything now. Audio prompt in three, two, one. Screw this guy. I'm watching you. I don't think I'm not either, because I got both eyes right here Document on you results. and half of one on the camera. Begin I'm... audio prompt in three, two, one. It's like a really intense staring contest, man. I'm gonna win, though. Don't think I won't. I'm getting a full salvage value from you, man. Going down. This is it, Freddy. I need revenge after the last game. This is there it all goes down. Document results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Hell well yeah. Done. End tape. All right. Well. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. I'd like to go home now. In fact, I think I'm going to. Actually, I'm already home. I just realized that. My nightmares follow me everywhere. I'm going to have to leave this here. I had no idea how long this game actually was going to be. And if this actually lasts five nights, like a week, like... I thought I could do this all in one episode. I don't think I can. I've already been playing for 40 minutes. So this isn't the kind of game that I want to go on for several hours. So it's not the kind of game I really want to break up either, but I'm going to because I feel like this is interesting enough that I want to make sure everything is in there that I want in there. So I will keep playing and I guess I'll just release multiple episodes. So for now, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm going to figure out what's going on with my headphones because for some reason it keeps cutting out. You can check out the other videos I've done on my channel, and I hope to see you next time, so we'll keep on gaming together. Until then, see ya.